Hi everyone, it's your boy, Spline Apple. You may notice I have a different setup. It's a little more natural and I hope you like it. Although the studio is different, the passion to inform and share news about Firo is still the same. So without further ado, let's jump on in. For the last couple of weeks, we've been mostly talking about different events surrounding Firo, like the different promotions or the attack. Today, though, we're going to be talking about something different. Today, we're going to be talking exclusively about a technology that Firo is moving to implement soon, ProgPow. More specifically, the difference between ProgPow and something like MTP, and the road that has led us to wanting to move to ProgPow in the first place. To start off, I think we're all familiar with the concept of mining. You know, you use your processing power and energy to help add to the blockchain, while also giving you a reward for your contribution. In general, there are four main ways that you can mine. You can mine with a CPU, a GPU, an ASIC, or an FPGA. A CPU is very flexible. You can use it to surf the web, write documents, etc. You can do so many things with the CPU, but that flexibility comes at a cost. It is the least effective of the four ways to mine. Its entry level is also pretty low because it's quite cheap. A GPU is primarily used for rendering. It's best suited for vector-based calculations. It's more effective at mining than a CPU and it's also in a similar price range. An ASIC, which stands for Application Specific Integrated Circuit, is essentially a computer that is designed for one thing only. In the crypto world, an ASIC is solely made to mine a specific coin. It is extremely efficient at its job, at the cost of being unable to do anything else. An ASIC is also very difficult to just have. They are very expensive to make, which means usually companies and governments are the only ones to have access to them. An FPGA, or a Field Programmable Gate Array, are kind of between a GPU and an ASIC in terms of mining power. Similar to an ASIC, an FPGA is formatted to be good at one thing, in our case mining. However, while an ASIC is incapable of being repurposed, an FPGA can be reprogrammed for a different task altogether, or tweaked if a mining protocol changes. The entry level of these is rather high because it requires a decent amount of technical knowledge to do that reprogramming. In general, it's within a cryptocurrency's best interest to be distributed pretty evenly. And this is especially true with a private coin like Firo. A single ASIC is more effective than a GPU by many orders of magnitude, and there are only a handful of manufacturers who make them. This is obviously a huge risk for centralization. There are different methods to make a coin ASIC resistant. For example, you could consistently change the mining protocol to make an ASIC which is entirely dedicated to one job being done in one specific way to stop working properly. This means that a brand new ASIC would have to be made. Do this often enough and making an ASIC is just not worth the cost. But do you remember the FPGAs? If the mining protocol was changed slightly, then FPGAs could similarly be tweaked and then they're just as effective. Before Fiora used MTP, we used Lyra 2Z, which was very weak against FPGAs. Which finally brings us to MTP. In the December of 2018, Firo, known as Zcoin at the time, implemented MTP, or the Merkle Tree Protocol. There's another video on the Firo channel that explains MTP, but I'll be elaborating a little bit. The biggest quality of MTP is that it is memory intensive. The reasoning behind this is that such a memory hard algorithm is hard to optimize, which lowers the extreme advantage that ASICs have. It has been a standard for private cryptocurrencies to use such algorithms for quite a while. However, in recent years, algorithms which rely solely on the memory requirements to exclude specialized hardware just isn't enough anymore. And that leads us to ProgPal the newest generation in the never-ending fight to decentralize a currency. To help contextualize what ProgPow does, it'll probably help to know that unlike past algorithms which were designed to be ASIC resistant, ProgPow is more focused on optimizing itself for GPUs. 
So rather than designing against specialized hardware, we're actually designing specifically for accessible hardware. The difference is very subtle, but hugely important because of how an ASIC is made. When making an ASIC, you must decide first the task that you want to do. From there, you assemble the hardware in such a way that you only use what you need for the task. Any part that won't add to its effectiveness is not necessary. Because ProgPow is designed specifically for GPUs, an ASIC manufacturer wouldn't be doing anything new. They'd just be making another GPU, which levels out the mining distribution tremendously. And of course, you can't talk about ProgPow without talking about the proof size. MTP proofs are about 200 kilobytes, which bloat the blockchain and add strain to the network. ProgPow, on the other hand, has a proof size around 64 bytes. That's around 0.03%. This means that in years to come, any newcomer to Fero won't have to worry about downloading some massive blockchain to even use it. And since Firo is a coin for everybody, that's a pretty big deal. It also opens the door to faster block times if required. There are several videos and articles which go into even more detail about the mechanics of ProgPow, and we'll link some of them in the description. Our hope here at the Firo Frontier was to interest you just enough to maybe start doing some research yourself. If you do want a more in-depth look at ProgPow or something else in a more technical sense, let us know in the comments. But for now, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. We are a full month into the Fear of Frontier, and we're just getting started. This is Splineapple, signing off.